Oh, what's up, peeps? How y'all feeling? My name is Chef Armani, and I'm gonna take you to a wonderful, at home, quick, fast, in a hurry way to make the perfect, my perfect, steak. Y'all stay tuned, baby. Before we get started, a few simple steps for you guys, okay? First thing you wanna do is get a great cut of steak. So you can go to your butcher and ask them to let you get the best cut of steak there is, or, or. My favorite is a bone-in ribeye, but today we're gonna do a New York strip. And that one I think is the most accessible for everybody. The key to it, if you're gonna put it in the refrigerator, let it go in the refrigerator. But you wanna take it out about an hour before you have to cook it. So I'm gonna tell you guys what we need before we get everything started. So you need your three sprigs of rosemary, you need you some thyme, you need you a bulb of garlic, you need you some salt, preferably kosher, you need you some pepper, preferably fresh cracked, and you need you a thermometer if you can get that, all right? That's gonna be the easiest way to get your steak temperature perfect every time, every time. All right, let's get it going. Let's open him up. Look at this bad boy. Wow, he wrapped it for me too. So look at that. So we starting off, take your napkin, pat it dry. So the reason why I like the New York strip is because, y'all see that fat seam right down the back? I'm gonna show you guys how to render that fat off and it's gonna be amazing. Just wait. Salt, kosher, pepper, fresh cracked, and one more, garlic powder, avocado oil. Put a little bit on there. and we just gonna brush it. So kosher salt, right? This is a thicker grain too. So I come pepper, pet me up, right? Garlic powder. Don't worry about all this seasoning on the side. We are gonna get that up. So now we have aromatics, right? I told you guys to get your garlic ready. We have rosemary and we have thyme. This is our pan. This is a carbon steel. You can use a cast iron. I'm sure everybody has a cast iron laying in their house somewhere. We're gonna turn this on. Mine's at a medium high. And we're just gonna let that get hot, right? We're gonna let that get hot. Remember I told you don't worry about the seasoning. Why? This is why. No seasoning left behind, baby. So what we doing? We grabbing our steak, right? Fat side down first. Remember I told you this is why you want that fat seam on there. Fat side down first. So now what we're doing now that the fat side is down, we're rendering off that fat to cook our own steak in its own juices, which means that's only more flavor. Come on, baby, Mwah. come on. What you talking about? Don't be afraid of the heat. Your pan has to be hot. It's done, I'm gonna show you what it looks like now that it's rendered off, right? Y'all see that? Y'all see how it's brown and kind of caramelized? That's because we let it render off. So now some of those juices are in here too. Let's lay it down. Lay your body down. So remember, you want great contact with your steak in the pan. Oh, baby. We're gonna flip it a little early. That's what you want, a nice crust on there, right? So we're gonna let this go for about a minute just on this other side so we can start getting that wonderful crust in there. Then we're gonna toss in our air mask. We're gonna turn everything down just a little bit because you don't want nothing to burn, baby. Cool. Trying to bite me back. I see, baby, I'll bite you a little bit. You try to bite me back, I see. That rough stuff, girl. Garlic in first, right? Put your butter in. One, two, three, four, five. Rosemary. Now watch it, it's gonna get violent. Work that in there, work that in there. We're gonna pick up our thyme and our rosemary, we're gonna sit it on top. Why? Because we don't want that to burn. Grab it, toss it up there. That deepens the flavor, and that also deepens the crust on that side that you, that you base it on. We're gonna take that and sit that right there in these wonderful juices, right on top, baby. Ooh, we. So, we can sit it right back in here. But you see that, that, that compound butter is melted, right? Ooh, we, baby, look at all that juice. 
Now we're just gonna let it sit up here and do its thing. So we have to let it rest for at least three to four minutes. And I know everybody's like, why would we let it rest? I wanna eat it right now. But you don't want all those juices that you work so hard to keep in to pour out all over, all over your plate. So what you wanna do is you wanna let it rest. So imagine it being a rubber band, right? So you've been frying it, it's hot, it's like this. So it's ready to just release. But if you slowly let it come back in, when you cut it, it won't release all over your plate. It'll release, it'll stay inside your steak. And then boom, that's a juicier steak, baby. Papa I got you. Let me put this back in the oven because you want to keep this warm because you're going to spoon this over your, come on, man. I got you, I'm getting you out of the game. I see you looking at me, baby. I'm looking at you looking at me. That's all I want to say. Let me bring you closer so you're not too far away from me, girl. <laughs> you said what? Excuse me, come in. I said the same thing, baby. I said the same thing. All right. Look at that baddie. Look at that baddie. Now, this is only for presentation. If this steak was just for me and I wasn't presenting it, I would keep all this fat on here, but you have to take it off because it doesn't render down well. That fat doesn't render down well, so we can't keep it on there but it's cooked perfectly. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come on, baby. Mm -hmm. You ain't gotta say too much from the look in your eyes. I can tell you wanna, mm -hmm. Boy, look at that steak. You should be ashamed of yourself cooking a steak that good. Now we gonna take it from here, here. Boom. We don't wanna mess up the plate. I don't know, whenever I get serious with cooking, I start whispering. I feel like it helps me a little bit. That's your perfect steak, right? We wanna clean up the plate. We still got some things to do to get this steak ready. Oh, you say the temperature dropped, right? The temperature did drop a little bit. Oh, it's gonna be cold. It's not gonna be cold, because we that's why we put that uh, jus, which is that butter that with that rosemary, that thyme, and that garlic. We put that back in the oven to stay hot, so now when it's time to serve it, we just serve it right on top. See, if you listen, you can hear it. You hear that bubbling? You hear that bubbling? Garlic, that rosemary, spoon it right on top, baby. Come on, baby. Sprinkle this right on top. This is a perfect steak. Voila, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why am I whispering? I don't know. Voila. All right, y'all get to see me eat it now. <laughs> Boy, that is as in-depth as I'm gonna get with the steak, but this is how you make your perfect steak. And if you practice that, and if you get that under your belt, you can move on to other things. You can move on to better things, right? We gotta get that jus in there. The steak is perfect. I told myself I wouldn't go do this. That steak is amazing. Then you have the compound butter that's already melted in there. Then you have the butter that's from the butter that you base it with. And that compound butter has a hint of lemon in there. And it just, oh God, the fucking It's like fucking coming.